Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It is late. It is uh, really past my bedtime, but what else is new? Hello, hashtag Team Insomnia for all you people out there who, like me, barely get any sleep. Unless you're waking up across the pond, then uh, good morning. Hope you slept well. So, we have this post, uh, posted late on July 7th. Thank you, my man Brian Shadowstrike for always keeping me updated with the forums. About a very strange Alliance War bug that I think deserves some attention. Now, to be clear, I would never have known about this without Brian's link because I don't do Alliance War. But I can imagine this is a nightmare bug that can screw you over and sounds like it did screw over cool APC. So this is what the forum post says. Well, this bug totally screwed me over today. In the past, when you click on the logo with the star on the right side of the screen, either on the character selection page or when you are spectating the defense, it would tell you the champions the other alliance has banned. Instead, it now shows your bans. I own two accounts in the same alliance, and I plan my pass around champions that I don't have access to. And since I already joined on the first account, I am totally screwed on the other account because the champion I needed is banned even though it didn't display as such. The only place it seems to show the correct bans is when you actually go to edit your team and you can see who's crossed out. This is so messed up and such a disappointing start to the season. So nightmare start to the Alliance War season for those of you affected and who knows maybe it's a small percentage of people but Part of why I do these videos, it's not for clicks, it's not for revenue, it's for other people who maybe have seen the same thing thinking, oh, it's not just me. You know, if one person out there gets that from this video, totally worth the time to make it. Uh, Kabam Zimit said, hey there, would you be able to share a screenshot of what you're seeing? I'd like to pass it along to the rest of the team. And he sends a screenshot here. with a finger on the screen. That is next level. And then no attack tactic selected. Tap to make a choice. In the past, clicking in these places shows you the attackers the other alliance has banned. Now they show the ones you have banned. Why do I care what attackers I have banned when I am selecting my own attackers? This is what caused me to mess up and join the wrong with the wrong team, assuming I had options I did not on my other account. Same problem here, tier 3, Carmel1 says, when I click on the new band button, this is what I see. So really the new band button is screwing people over. And you can see this arrow. The opposing alliance has banned the following champions from being used during the attack phase, Human Torch, Ghost, and Spider-Man 2099. Before I joined, I click on the ban button after spectate the map and saw that. By the way, it's been so long since I've done the Alliance or part of the game. I didn't even know you could ban champions. I look at read this like, oh, it's kind of smart. Does this make me want to do Alliance War? Of course not. I, I kind of enjoy the bans on Battlegrounds too, though. As weird as that sounds. Ban attackers, Quake, Human Torch, and Ghost. And you can see the arrow to the right. Now after I joined, clicking on the same button shows that. None. Not sure if it's because I joined or because something changed on your side. So, as always, these videos are important because if one or two people are having the same problem, chances are more than that are actually experiencing it, even if it didn't make its way to the forums. So I would love to hear the feedback from you all regarding what you're seeing on this. All I know is that when you have alliances that are so close, like on the verge of either staying in one tier or dropping or moving up, something like this can be the difference between whether or not you move up a tier or stay or drop a tier. Now that might sound a little dramatic, but I've just seen so many stories over the years of seemingly small problems making the big difference. This is also why, of course, we had Alliance War seasons canceled for a couple of straight seasons, for a couple of months, when the crashes kept happening with the game last year, where you had people reporting that they wouldn't, they weren't even able to load a fight before the game 
crashed and just cost them half their health and a, a knocked out defender. And so this is far from the worst bug in Alliance War compared to that, but it's still a headache. Thanks to those of you that sent this in so we could talk about it on the channel. Have a great rest of your day.